Oh my god, D! Three days later. Wake up, so let's go. Hey, wake up. I believe she has developed a tetanus infection. Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that affects the nervous system and causes muscle throughout the body to tighten. Tetanus can be left turning without treatment. Thus, it is a medical emergency that requires an immediate treatment in hospital. Tetanus infection is caused by a toxin made by spores of bacterium Clostridium tetanine that can be found in soil, dust, and animal droppings. A person can be affected when these spores enter the bloodstream through a cut or deep wound. The bacteria spores that enters a deep flesh wound is then spread to the central nervous system and produce a toxin called tetanospasmin. This toxin is a poison that impairs the nerves that control muscles by blocking the nerve signals from spinal cord to muscles. As a result, this can lead to severe muscle spasms. Tetanus infection has been associated with crush injuries, burns, puncture wounds from piercing, tattoos, injection drug use, or injury, such as stepping on a nail. As for the symptoms, those affected to tetanus may experience spasms and stiffness in various muscles, especially in jaw, abdomen, back, and neck. This is because tetanus affects the nerves that control muscles. The incubation period is between 3 and 21 days. Symptoms typically appear within 14 days of initial infection. Infections that occur faster after exposure are typically more severe and have a worse prognosis. Tetanus is typically treated with a variety of therapies and medications such as the antibiotics to kill the bacteria in your system, the IG to neutralize the substance of bacteria in your body, muscle relaxers to control the muscle spasms, and the most important is to clean the wound to get rid of the source of the bacteria. Tetanus is dangerous, but this disease could be prevented by getting an active immunization with tetanus toxoid combined with diphtheria toxoid and protesis vaccine for primary immunization in childhood and DT for adults. A booster of adult tetanus diphtheria toxoid should be given every 10 years. Furthermore, immunization for pregnant women can prevent highly lethal neonatal tetanus because of transplacental transfer of antibodies from the mother to the fetus. If immunization is neglected, passive immunization is used with a prophylactic dose of HTAG as soon as possible to provide immediate protection. Prevention is better than cure. Take action and get vaccinated. We can fight the tetanus together. 